Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. It is time for my December favorites. I have so many WW foods, beauty and household favorites to share with you. I can't wait to share with you all of the things that I have been loving over the last month. So if you're excited to see all of my favorite things, give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links discounts to all of my favorite things are also down in that description box as well as my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to my December favorites. So as always, we're going to start with my WW food favorites for the month of December. First up, let's talk about tea. So I have really gotten into having hot tea, especially as the weather has gotten colder. And I was looking for a company that has ethically sourced tea. I didn't want to pick up cheap tea at the store because I've heard that they sweep up the stuff on the floor and throw it in the tea bags. So I did a little bit of research and discovered tea pigs. And I went ahead and placed quite a lofty order for some of their seasonal flavors as well as some of their traditional in-stock flavors. And I've been loving their tea. This is their limited edition gingerbread. It is so good. And I love this spiced winter red tea. I actually purchased eight or nine different kinds of their tea. I love every single one of them. They are naturally caffeine free, which was something else I was looking for was to pick up a tea that didn't have a lot of caffeine. I love them. The flavor is so good. It's truly what it says on the package. It's rich. It's flavorful. So, so good. So highly recommend tea pigs if you are someone that enjoys a good hot cup of tea or even iced tea. Next up is a water enhancer and this is from the brand True Lime and this is their limeade water enhancer with watermelon. I'm really picky on my water enhancers. I mentioned in my grocery haul that I picked up a Propel one that I didn't like at all. I really like this one. This one is super delicious. It has nice clean ingredients. It's 10 calories for one of the little packets, three carbohydrates, one gram of sugar, it's made with stevia, so it has a nice sweet flavor to it. I really like this. So this True Lime, True Lemon brand, really delicious. Now I bought this from Imperfect Foods as a little sample, and this is my third package that I've picked up. This is the Kitchen and Love Riced Cauliflower Ready to Eat. This is super convenient. You just throw this little packet into your microwave, and you have perfectly cooked cauliflower rice. All that is in here is cauliflower and lactic acid non-dairy, which is just a preservative in the riced cauliflower. It's really good. It has a nice texture, a nice taste. Again, I did buy this off of Imperfect Foods. I'll, I'll link Imperfect Foods down in the description box for you with $20 worth of free groceries if you're interested in supporting a great cause. They actually prevent food waste by selling at a discount overstocked foods and foods that would generally be thrown away. So I love them. I order from them every couple weeks, as you guys know, and this has been a staple product in my order. Again, the brand is Kitchen in Love. I don't know if you can find this anywhere else, but it's super affordable on Imperfect Foods. This soup is so good. This is the Pacific Foods Organic Roasted Red Pepper and Tomato Soup. Again, the cold weather brings out the soup. This is so incredibly delicious. It tastes just like tomato soup, but with a little bit of a flavor kick. And I think it's that red pepper. So it's sweet from the red pepper, but it definitely has that tomato vibe as well. It's really, really good. It has nice clean ingredients. You can have an entire cup for 130 calories. This has been my go-to soup this winter. Now I shared this in a What I Eat in a Day. This is the PE Science Select, and this is their Peppermint Bark Protein Powder. Now I don't don't know if this is still available. It is a limited edition flavor. This protein powder is incredible. It literally tastes like you're eating a piece of peppermint bark candy. It is creamy. It's chocolatey. It's pepperminty. I love it. I really like this brand in general. I had a great experience ordering from their website. If this is still available, grab it while you can. It is the best protein powder I've ever ever had. It is that good. And I can't wait to try more of the PE Science brand. You've also seen me haul these pretty much every week in my grocery haul. These are the Winky Sugar-Free Jello. 
I don't know what it is about this brand. I don't know what voodoo magic is in here, but this sugar-free jello is so good. This one is the sour cherry. It comes in lime and orange. You can buy an entire flat of jello cups. I think there's 18 for less than $3 at Walmart. And these have been such a big game changer for both myself and Troy. I like to have these for dessert. I put a little whipped cream on top sometimes. And these, and the little cups are perfect to throw into Troy's lunch. They're super affordable. They're convenient. They're pre-portioned out. Highly recommend if you can find the Winky brand at Walmart. This has also been another recent staple for me, and this is the Gatorade Zero. I buy mine at Costco because it's the most affordable price. You get the white, with the, which is Glacier Cherry, the lemon, lime, and a fruit punch for a really affordable price at Costco. It is 10 calories for the entire bottle. It's zero points. I really like this because it gives me back some electrolytes. I'm not eating as much as I was before just because I'm eating foods that fill me up a lot faster. So I've been liking to break the monotony of water all day with a Gatorade Zero. Now I either do a Gatorade Zero or a water enhancer. I definitely drink mainly plain water, but sometimes I like to break it up a little bit. And these Gatorade Zeros have been huge for me. And Troy also takes one every single day in his lunch. Another thing I've been obsessed with are these shelled hemp seeds. These ones are actually from Trader Joe's. These add the perfect crunch to literally anything. I love to put these on my yogurt in my smoothies, in a smoothie bowl, in oatmeal, on salad. It adds a ton of crunch and these are so, so good for you. It says they have a nutty-like flavor and soft, chewy texture. Each serving provides two and a half grams of omega-3 and eight and a half grams of omega-6 fatty acids, which are essential fatty acids and they taste really good. They do have kind of a little bit of a nutty flavor. You don't need very much. I usually put a tablespoon or two and these have just really enhanced my bowl salads, oatmeals, and things. I really am loving these. And you don't have to buy the Trader Joe's ones. I just picked these up because they were really affordable and they have such a great, chewy, nutty, crunchy texture. And my last WW food favorite is actually the Skinny Girl Poppy Seed Dressing. This is my second container. I just bought this. That's why it is still sealed up. This dressing's really good. I was skeptical of these sugar-free, fat-free dressings mainly because of the ingredients, but because of the way that I have to eat, I can't have sugar, I really have to watch my fat. So these are really my go-to when it comes to salad dressing. And I was pleasantly surprised on how good this poppy seed one is. I know that they have a ranch as well. That will be the next one that I pick up. Pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. You can have two tablespoons for only 10 calories. It has really good flavor and I don't have any sugar-free aftertaste. This definitely has been a big game changer for me. I can have my salads again and have a dressing that works with my diet. So those are my WW food favorites. I also have a couple of home favorites that I wanted to share with you that I picked up in the month of December and we have been loving these. First is this little two pack of bowl cradles. These things have been a huge game changer. You put your bowl into this and when you warm it up in the microwave, this you can use these little handles to pull your bowl out of the microwave and enjoy your meal without burning your hand. These have been such a game changer for us when it comes to warming things up in the microwave in a bowl. It just makes it so easy. We're not burning ourselves anymore. And I like to be able to take the, this over to my table and actually eat out of this. It also prevents the heat from the bowl going on to your table. My table in my kitchen can discolor with a lot of heat. So these have been amazing. I just bought these off of Amazon. They had lots of different patterns. I think this blue one was the most affordable, so that's why I bought it. But we love these. We love these. They're washable. You can just throw them in your washer. Both Troy and I have been using these pretty regularly. I also picked up some small plates. I picked up two different sizes. This is a pack of these little teeny tiny kind of pastel colored plates. These are are about the size of a dessert plate. Definitely a little bit smaller than a salad plate, but these have been really good for me to eat my meals on these or my snacks on these instead of dirtying up a full-size dinner plate. If I'm just having a small snack or a small meal, I feel like I'm getting more on these bigger plates. These are kind of a plasticky material. They're dishwasher safe. I've actually thrown these in the dishwasher and you get this whole pack on Amazon for really, really affordable price. It's just really helped with portion control and to help me not not feel like I'm not getting very much on a huge dinner plate. I also bought the little bit larger set as well. So this is another set of four. 
These are really nice. They actually have more of a ridge on them. So you could even use these as a shallow bowl. These have also been nice, again, just for portion control and to make me feel like I'm getting a lot of food on a small plate. So here is the size difference of the two. So you can see this one's definitely larger. Again, I bought these on Amazon too. They were super, super affordable. I will go ahead and link both of these down below. They'd be great for kids. Absolutely fantastic for kids. They are indestructible. You cannot break them. Dishwasher safe. I've really been enjoying having these for my snacks and meals. Now let's jump into my beauty favorites. I have some skincare items, some makeup items, some really exciting things for you guys when it comes to beauty that have been my favorites this last month. Starting with these facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. I wish I would have discovered these a long, long time ago. These little pads are amazing. You can see that they look kind of like Stridex, if you remember Stridex when we were kids. They're just these little pads. One side is textured and one side is not. The textured side is used for exfoliation. These are great to tone your face with. So I'll wash my face, I usually double cleanse, and then I'll run one of these over my face with the smooth side and with the textured side, and it just adds literally instant radiance to your face. They're not too expensive, you get you get 60 pads and I love these. I use these every single day. I really wish I would have discovered these sooner. I will link them down below and sometimes you can even find these at TJ Maxx. Another skincare product I've been loving is from Tarte and this is the Youth or Dare Multi Acid C Serum. I've been using this in the morning as my vitamin C serum. My skin loves vitamin C. It just adds instant hydration and glow to my skin. And this one from Tarte is really, really good and it is quite a large container so you get a lot of uses out of this for the price it doesn't have a scent which is great you don't want to add a lot of fragrance to your skin if you can avoid it especially if it's something that's going to be sitting on your skin like a serum this one is really good and for a vitamin c serum this one is really affordable i've really been enjoying it so before the holidays before new year's eve i decided to pick up a couple of new perfumes you guys know i've been loving perfume and i went ahead of course and grabbed two more fragrances from Dr. I've shared these with you guys a couple of times in the past. These two new fragrances are incredible. Dossier creates perfumes inspired by very high-end fragrances. So instead of paying $80, $90, $100 for a high-end fragrance, you can buy the Dossier version for $29 or $39. And let me tell you, I own quite a few, I think six or seven of these, and they are a dead-on match to the high-end fragrance for $29 or $30, which is such a great deal. I decided since I wanted some new perfumes in my life that I would pick up a couple more from Dossier. So I thought I would share these with you because I love them both. And actually my husband actually likes the scents of these and he's kind of a perfume snob. He doesn't like a lot of perfume scents, but he really, really enjoys these two. So they all come in this super nice box. You get a card here that tells you the notes, what perfume it's inspired by, the concentration, and how Dossier perfumes work. The the packaging is beautiful. It is glass packaging with, I love this, a magnetic lid. So I mentioned that I picked up two new fragrances. So the first one is Floriental Coconut, and this is actually inspired by the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Eau de Perfume. I will go ahead and put here on the screen the price of the Tom Ford, which you may be shocked, versus the price of the Dossier. This has notes of, top notes of cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, middle notes of Lang Lang, tuberose, and jasmine, and base notes of cedarwood, amber, banzoin, and coconut. It is kind of fresh, fruity, spicy. It's a little bit of everything. Oh, oh my gosh. It smells so good. I smell the Lang Lang, that fruity vibe. I smell the coconut for sure. That's definitely front and center. And then you have the cardamom and the jasmine, which bring in kind of a spicy floral. This is so good. This is a perfume that whenever I wear it, I get a lot of compliments. So if you're interested in the Tom Ford, pick up the Dossier for a much more affordable price. The other scent I picked up is Fruity Honey. And again, the packaging, and I love this. So satisfying. So Fruity Honey is inspired by Joe Malone, Nectar Blossom, and Honey Cologne. So I have the Dossier version of the other Joe Malone perfume, and I love it. It's amazing. So as soon as I saw that they had this Joe Malone perfume, I grabbed it, and the price of the original high-end is 
insane. So the top notes of this are black currant and green leaves. Doesn't that sound so good? The middle notes are honey and nectarine and the base notes are peach and velveteer. So this is more of a fruity fragrance. It's definitely lighter. Ah, oh, I just love it. It is so fruity and light. This is actually a perfect spring or summer scent. I just had to pick it up because I really like the Jo Malone perfume, but I didn't want to spend the money and this definitely dis does not disappoint. Truly, both of these are very, very, very similar to the high end. You wouldn't notice the difference by smelling these on yourself or someone else. You wouldn't know that these are Dossier and not the high end. So I will make sure that I link Dossier down below for you with a discount code. And the great thing about them is you can double dip your discounts. So whatever discount is site-wide, you can apply this code to that as well well and get a double discount. So you can save 20, 30, 40, 50% on their already super low prices. So these two have been favorites. I also ordered some really fun makeup brushes in December and I've really been loving the quality. These are from the brand Blinged Brushes and you can see that these these babies are blingy. They have all different types of colors of the rhinestones. But what I really love about these is the quality of the brushes is so, so good. You can see mine are pretty dirty. I've been using these regularly since I got them. Blinged Brushes was running a huge sale, so I got these for a really affordable price. I received an entire set of eye brushes for, I wanna say about $50, which is not bad at all, and I just love the blingy handles. It just makes my heart happy to put my makeup on with these. Also from the brand Pink Honey, this is the Honey Glue Original Super Hold. Here's what it looks like, so you can see kind of the hole in the middle. It is hard to the touch, it's waxy. It smells incredibly delicious. It has a very fruity smell to it. This is a brow wax, and I have the wildest, craziest, out of control eyebrows ever. This holds my eyebrows in place all day. It comes with a spoolie to apply the product. It just smells so good, and it works so good. There is no need to buy high-end brow freezes or brow glues. This one works so incredibly good. This is the best brow glue I've ever used and it takes a lot to tame my brows and it's super, super affordable. Definitely recommend if you need a good brow glue in your life. Next up is from Fenty Beauty and this is the Fenty Matchstick Contour Stick. So this is what the product looks like. It's just a stick contour. This has been my go-to contour. I love that it's cream. As I get older, I'm really getting into cream products because they sit on my skin better. They don't settle into all my fine lines and wrinkles. And this Fenty Contour Stick is amazing. It is so creamy. It's so blendable. I generally contour right on my cheeks, under my chin, my nose, and right on my forehead. And it blends out so, so well. You can layer. So I'll apply a cream bronzer on top of this and it layers really, really well. This is a little bit more expensive than a drugstore contour, but it's the best one that I have ever used. It is my holy grail when it comes to contour sticks. You know, I love highlighter and I have been obsessed with this melt blush light in shadow play. Now I know when you look at it, you're thinking, hmm, interesting, it looks like chalk. In fact, when you swatch it, it looks like chalk. But let me just tell you, when you put this on your skin, it is absolutely stunning. Look at that that shimmer, that shine, that glow. I love to be seen from space with highlighter. This is actually the highlighter that I have on my face today. I've been loving this. When I first got it and I looked at it and swatched it, I was like, chalk. No ma'am, this is amazing. Again, this is the blush light in shadow play from Melt. This has been another staple for me since I picked it up. It, this actually just was released. This is the Natasha Denona Rose cheek duo and you have a stunning cream to powder blush and a highlighter. I love cream blush as you guys know, but I really, really have been loving this cream to powder blush. I love the color of it and the highlight is so buttery soft. So here is the cream blush. It is so pretty. And then that highlight, look at that that glow of that highlight. For Natasha Denona, this is super affordable, it's $19. What I like about this is it's great for travel. There's even a mirror in it as well, and it's great for travel. All you would do, you'd have your blush and your highlighter in one tiny little compact, and the product, the quality is so good. And as always, we are ending out our beauty favorites with a palette 
Oh my gosh, I love this palette. So I hemmed and hawed about picking this up. Finally bought this on sale. This is the palette I wore for Christmas. That is how much I love this palette. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Mrs. Claus Lit List Eyeshadow Palette. Look at the packaging. How cute is that? This palette... Oh my gosh. It says, you're the ho ho hottest from BH Cosmetics. Look at this palette. I mean, this shade right here, this green, is absolutely stunning. That's the shade I wore on my lid on Christmas. I went in with the reds and the greens with a little bit of the glitter. This eyeshadow palette, the quality of this, I'm floored and I love BH Cosmetics. I own probably 40 of their eyeshadow palettes, but the quality of this one is like a $200 eyeshadow palette. The mattes are buttery soft. The shimmers are out of this world. You saw that green shimmer. Absolutely beautiful. There's only one pressed glitter and this pressed glitter isn't bad at all for pressed glitter. It's just a great palette. There's neutral, there's colored, there's a little bit of everything. If this is still available, I'll link it. There's a possibility that it's even still on sale. Get this palette. It is worth the full price, which I think is only like $34, which is not bad at all. But I think I paid $20 or $21 for it. I'm obsessed with this palette. I can't wait to play with it more. So those are all of my December favorites, WW Foods, Home, and Beauty. Everything I shared with you with any discounts, codes, anything I can find will be linked down in the description box for you. And if you enjoyed another favorites, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. I do upload four to five videos every single week, so you definitely want to subscribe. Ring your bell so you never miss a single video. Also down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Click the link. Come join us. We'd love to have you. Happy January. Happy 2022. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.